Alrighty. Here we go again. Said the opponent's gonna go first, just like last time. Let's draw a new hand, please. Alright, I'll do that one. This gives me a turn one, turn two play. There we go. Let's get that out there. Alrighty. Let's see if this one goes a little better here. And he should have a turn two play. He doesn't. Ooh. I just handling ghouls then. If he had played tonight, I would have played the black cat. But since he didn't play anything. Orchard Spirit. Great. Alright. I think I have an idea. Play the Black Cat. Play the Blood Bone Splinters. Get rid of you. Sacrifice you. Have you discard a card. Hey, yeah, discard another forest. Maybe. Let's go. That's said long drawn out sequences. I know I've said it before. That is 16. It's farther down than I got him last time, I think. I mean, last time I didn't have a chance to make much of a offensive. I'm gonna play the Shambling Ghoul again. The fact that he couldn't cast anything with four mana worries me as well as excites me. Because, like, you know, he's got mana to cast stuff, he just doesn't have the things to cast. Or he's got a creature that takes more mana. And when it comes out, I'm going to be screwed. So, we'll find out in a minute. Let's so play something. It's the spider. Two four spider. Yippee. I can use some mana, please. The mana gods hear my cry. Alright, he can't kill the bone, the, the ghouls, so I'm going to attack with both of them. He'll block one, the other will get, the other will get through. Same down to 11, that just kind of cancels each other out. Let's see, will he attack on his turn? Nope, but he's going to play something else. He'll play the Grave Tiller Worm, a 4 4 with Trample. <sighs> Can I get my Bone Splitters back? Yeah. At this point, um, I think it's going to be a stalemate for a little bit. At least it's harder to. If I could get rid of that worm and bring him back with Rise from the Grave, I'd be very happy. Or the spider, for that matter. What's he going to cast now? Oh, an elk. Okay. Deal with the elk. Ah, uh, vengeful dead. There we go. Skip attack. 
Yeah, so now it's just kind of a waiting game where we're pretty much playing back and forth. I've got the ability to block pretty much everything he throws. However, I would gain the upper hand if he did it. So, until that point, all I just need is a black cat. Yeah. Until that point, there's really no need to do anything. Just sit tight. See what comes. Okay, so he's going to attack with him. That's fine. We'll block with both of those. One will die, one will live. Both will die. That hurts. So I'll take one damage. And he's going to play the boar. And he gets to plus one because two creatures died this turn. Son of a bitch. So who to destroy? Him? Or him? Him or destroy the worm? We'll bring back the zombie cat. No. Bring back the ghoul. Ghoul can take more damage. Okay, he sacrificed to get another mana. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Alright. So here's the question. I want to... I want to force his hand. So I'm going to attack with both the goblin and the cat. I just, I just, I need you to block one of them, it doesn't matter who. That's fine with me. Block them both. Um, just for the hell of it, it's not really going to... Not really going to matter either way on both of those, so. And it'll take a couple damage as well. Rise from the grave. We're going to take you. And guess what? Bam! He's now an 8 8. Beautiful. He's got a 4-4 four, four worm to <laughs> back to his disposal. It's fine with me. Bye-bye uh, to the Fester. Uh, take our Shambling Goblin back. Shambling Goblin back, I should say. Play him immediately. Oh yeah, and we're going to attack. See, now I've got this under control. The we'll block with both, that's fine. It'll kill both of them. Another two life, or two health on him, but he'll regain it next turn. And next turn he's dead unless he got something he could play, which he didn't. Just because I can, we'll play Gravedigger. We'll take back the Shambling Ghoul. We'll play the Shambling Ghoul. <laughs> and then we'll attack with everything to finish this. Let's see if he's got anything. If he's got a fog in his hand, now's the time to play it. Nope. Done. One and then eight damage. Next seven. That worm's nice. I like that worm. Can I have that with my green deck? Uh, let's see. Anyway. Uh, I just took one try. 
Uh, with a creak of bones, the hermit witch servant rises from the dead to serve a new master. You, your command over necromantic magic is undeniable. As you exalt in your bludgeoning power, you think perhaps it's time to return home to Dominaria and seek out the Raven Man and extract vengeance. So, we'll go back there when we come back. <laughs>